Welcome to the channel, human. My name is Terrence. Toy Story 2, after the amazing first installment, they were like, we got to make a sequel. Good idea. This time around, you have a kind of fucked up situation. You know, Andy's mom, she decides to have a yard sale. You know like how when humans just have too much shit or stuff they don't need, they're like, you know what? We're going to sell it to other humans that may uh, find such things useful. And then, you know, you put a certain price on it and then the humans come by. Maybe you sell it for that exact price. Maybe you negotiate to something that's more to the buyer's liking, stuff like that. So Andy's mom does this yard sale and Woody accidentally ends up out there in the yard sale. So this fucking creepy human finds this Woody. and He's like, how much for this? I've been looking for Sheriff Woody all my life. I need him to complete my collection. And then she's like, oh my God, I don't know how this amazing toy got out here, sir, but you can't have a mind selling this shit. He's like, are you sure? I will be willing to sell my soul away to get this toy. And then she was like, sir, I appreciate that you're passionate about this toy, but this shouldn't have been out here. It's been a mistake. I'm, it's not for sale. And the guy's like, okay. So Andy's mom like puts Woody in a box or some shit. And this dude waits till she's not looking. He fucking steals Woody. And then Buzz and the other toys like, that creepy ass human is still a Woody. Fuck that nigga. We got to do something. I'm like, man, I wanted that dude to die. I'm like, he stole Woody. I'm like, out of all the things you can do in this movie, you going to steal Woody. I'm like, this motherfucker got some nerves. I'm like, he got some balls on him to steal Woody. Because now he about to get his shit wrecked by the other toys. So, of course, Buzz Lightyear and the other toys, they set on a, on a mission to, to save Woody, you know. Because despite the messed up events that happened in the first installment, you know, Woody and Buzz, they're like the best of friends. All the toys are getting along, bygones, water under the bridge, you know, all them sayings that humans come up with. So now it's just like, yo, my boy is kidnapped and shit. This, this creepy ass human stole him. So like, let, we got to go and get him back. And then while uh, Woody ends up in this certain location, he meets Woody's roundup gang. Woody is part of a, a, a line of toys where other toys can come with them or you can buy them to complete the Woody's Roundup gang. You know, you got Jesse and you got Bullseye, which is his horse. And then you got um some fucked up toy named Prospector. Like this dude, Prospector is something else. Like it's interesting how he seems nice at first. And I was kind of skeptical of this toy from the beginning because things are not as they appear. You know, I was just like, I don't know about this nigga Prospector. He comes across as fake to me. And sure enough, Prospector was on some, you got to stay. We got to be together. We got to be sold as a collection. You going to stay here, Woody. You ain't got no choice, nigga. I was like, I fucking knew it. I knew he was on some bullshit. So it's interesting because there's a, another toy um that comes into the equation connected to buzz who clearly looks like a villain but i'm like man so you got all that i'm like man this guy oh no he's stealing woody buzz gotta go and help so it's like it's just an interesting story overall to see what happens with woody and prospector and this dude that that stole woody and all this stuff and can buzz and them succeed to get woody back and then what's gonna happen near the end it's just an interesting story. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. I still think it's very good and ain't on the level of the first one, but it's very good for a sequel. Because sequels sometimes, they could be just fucking trash. Like, you want to walk in front of a bus after you see that shit, it was so bad. But no, I'm like, nah, this one's pretty damn good for a sequel. You know what I'm saying? Not really on the same level, but a nice treat. Like, for me personally, I was glad that they decided to make this one because the story was interesting enough. And, you know, when I was younger, I was heated by this shit. I'm like, this motherfucker is stealing Woody. I, I want, no, he has to die. I don't care that this is a kid movie. He need to die a terrible death. You don't fuck with Andy's toys. Did he not see the first movie? Thank you for being here, human. You be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know. And then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. And look, if somebody tells you something is not for sale, walk the fuck away. Just, just, just walk away. Don't do nothing crazy. Walk away.
understand that no means no. And until next time, Terrence out.